is not enough for all even and the overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? So it's the Bears who will have the first chance to win this thing as we are underway here in overtime. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Now a first down throw, Fields. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. It's a game of 10. And the Bears... Read option, here's Herbert. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Cody Barton there to bring him down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. To throw his fields. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. You got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, sling he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now four down. The temptation to go for it probably there. Always his, especially in overtime. Got to punt it, though. I think you're right. I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially play a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over, but backed up deep in their own territory. And the Washington offense heading out. Well, their defense, they did the important thing. They got the stop. They didn't allow a point. But now they're backed up here pretty far, Charles. Going to need a significant drive to try to get into position for the game-winning field goal. Yeah, partner, don't you think that defense is on the sidelines right now saying, don't come to us with your problems about where you're starting? We did the important part. We kept them off the board, kept us in the ball game. Find a way to maneuver it downfield, at least get in the field goal range, and get us a win. Had an open man that time. We ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second down throw for Hal. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing here, Howell. This pass hold in by Dotson. And he's going to have the Commanders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Powell. Throw right side complete to Dodson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. 
Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Good position to be in here, second and inches. Back to the ground with Gibson. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now he'll look to throw it. He completes this one to Terry McClure. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That's good for 28 yards. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300, that means it's going to go out on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. So they're, they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants to kick it from. And if you do decide to throw the football, it either goes to your team or no one. It's the only kind of throw you make. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially in this part of the field. Well, that good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it, Brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. How the throw. And his throw here is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Hal. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And now the Bears going to signal for another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And he got it! The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And there will be all smiles in Georgetown tonight as Washington has won it. But Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today,